Okay, so I want to talk to you guys today about animal captivity. Uh, it's an issue that has really upset me since I was a very young little tyke. Um, my parents took me to SeaWorld when I was eight years old, and I hated every minute of it. I couldn't understand why everything was in these tiny tanks, and we were forced to do tricks, and I thought that they swam in the ocean and, uh, you know, um, fought poachers, and I don't know. I always watched Flipper when I was little, and I thought it was really inspiring that the dolphins would come save you, and... Um, so in 2009, a movie called The Cove came out, and um, it focuses on this man named Rickleberry. Yeah. Uh. This little counterpart is the time. Yeah. That's what I should have thought. We can use the old technology, too. Okay. It does? Okay. So this is him. He was actually the original trainer for Flipper. What happened was, um, they, his dolphin's name was Kathy, and she lived in a saltwater tank that was outside of his house. Um, he interacted with them, trained them, loved every minute of them. It was like basically having a cat. <laughs> so once uh, Flipper started to be in production, they took it to a sea aquarium where it lived in captivity in a tank. And he tells this horrible story about how um, what he thinks she committed suicide in his art his arms. Um, they're not automatic air breathers, or they are automatic air breathers, and she chose not to take another breath and just sank to the bottom of the tank. So after that, he realized how depressed these animals can get in captivity. Uh, since then, he's now 74 years old. He is arrested countless times every year, and he has set 25 captive dolphins free in horrible captivity. Um, so I don't know if any of you guys have seen this movie, it's pretty brutal. Um, what happens is, there's a tiny cove in Taiji, um, they round up all the dolphins, they take the ball in those ones, sell them for up to $100,000, and they go to SeaWorld. Then all the ones that aren't ball in those, like the spinners, and the ones that don't look like classic flipper, they just get slaughtered. Um, their meat is sold to the people of Japan as expensive whale meat, but it's actually tainted with mercury, and is giving everyone mercury poisoning. Um, you guys may have also seen Blackfish this year. This has been causing a lot of controversy in the media. Um, it's pretty awful and it's very um, interesting if you guys want to check it out. Um, so what you can do to help is watch the cove, watch Blackfish, and just try to talk to people about it. I've just been trying to help spread the word about how terrible some of this stuff is. And um, I think it's over 120,000 dolphins get slaughtered a year in this cove. And it's just senseless. There's no need for it. Um, and I also have a video to show you guys. Does the sound work? If it's connected to that thing? I My friend is so much fun. He's always playing tricks on people. <laughs> it makes sense with your background, though. <laughs> They're always playing tricks on people. <laughs> that was a trick, actually. He is so smart. In fact, he's one of the most intelligent beings on the planet. This friend can literally see through me. And I'm not kidding. My friend races sailboats and always wins. My friend has no problem hitting a high... My friend can surf waves 25 feet high with no board. I'd like to see you try that. This friend can understand us, but we can't understand him. He saves lives. He saves lives. He saved human lives. He's always smiling, but that doesn't mean that he's always happy. My friend doesn't belong in captivity. My friend does not belong in captivity. He doesn't belong in captivity. His home is in the ocean. But my friend is in serious trouble. In fact, he's fighting for his life right now. Right now. Right now. Off the coast of Japan, dolphins and porpoises are driven to a horrible fate. The most attractive are chosen for life in captivity. The others are brutally killed. Their meat, which contains toxic levels of mercury, is sold as food. 
Majority of people in Japan don't even know this is happening. Please help us end this senseless slaughter. Please help us get the word out. Please join us in getting the word out. Help us get the word out. To find out more, go to takepart.com slash the cove. We are their biggest threat and their only hope. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up now, but uh, this movie is like what really made me want to go into journalism. They take all these like special ops army guys and special grade cameras and go in and try to expose like the story no one knows about. And since this movie actually came out, um, there's so many protesters that have gone to Japan and have tried to stop this. And now the international laws are getting involved. And yeah, it's uh, really interesting what kind of impacts people can make.